Yo, yo, this is your boy, copyright with a C. We're gonna do some debating now. Let's go. The name is copy to the right. People call me copyright. I scare people who steal music day and night. Pay millions of bucks if you want to sample the art. Don't try convincing me because I ain't got no heart. See you the people who sample and remix is this your game? Well don't forget copy left is my name. These artists suing have always done the same. Now when common man does it, they say shame shame. Guess what? This is so lame. That I'm gonna left mix cut remix music from the public domain. Today, we have two prominent groups in our studio who relate to the music and the media industry. On our left, we have Mr. Copyleft, who is sponsored and supported by Creative Commons. On our right, we have Mr. Copyright, represented by Metallica, Recording Industry Association of America and the Motion Pictures Association of America. So let us get going then. We will start with Mr. Copyright. Mr. Copyright, thank you very much. I represent all the artists and my sponsors, the RIAA, the MPAA and the media companies and recording labels. I protect the rights of all the artists their creativity, their music, and their art. If I do not protect it, people in the society will steal this art, cut, copy, paste, and make some new mix which they call their own. Well, let me interrupt you right there, sir. Firstly, you mentioned that they make their own music, which is they make new music. This means that they have created something or different from the original. Second, you do not represent all the artists. In fact, many artists want their music to be played with, sampled and remixed. For example, Radiohead. What you and your peers call stealing, I call taking inspiration from them. Well, too bad that the artists do not think it as giving inspiration to anyone. They have worked hard for their art and for their music. You give an example of Radiohead, but I can give you how an example how the Verve used the music of the Rolling Stones in their Bittersweet Symphony. If these remixers really want to use and sample the original music, they have to and they, they have to ask for permission and pay the fee for using the music. Simple as that. Simple as that? Is it really that simple? Do you know that these upcoming artists have to pay thousands of dollars to get the permission to just use a small sample of a song? This is exactly like the, that situation which caused the French Revolution. Oh, if they don't have bread to eat, why don't they just eat cake? You want to encourage creativity, but at the same time, this creativity comes at an expensive price tag. Your rebuttal regarding copying of music is baseless. The Rolling Stones had picked up the song this may be the last time from another group, which was rolled out six years before. Oh, okay. So now you mean to say that just because some artists sampled some earlier work before the laws were strict, everyone should be allowed to do the same? This is not an excuse for committing a crime, which is what this is. Yes, it is a crime to plagiarize or copy someone's work without giving the credit. All my team is asking is that please do not put the art under chains of thousand dollar permission and fees. We will quote the artists and give them their due, but let us enjoy music together and create more music. After all, future culture always springs from the past. Thank you.